I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place or weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. What is happening, house lovers and explorers? All right, firstly, happy Easter to everyone. I hope everyone's enjoying some time off over this Easter break. So today's video is one I've had stored away for a little while. Uh, Michael joined me on this explore. I think it was about 18 months ago now. Yeah, lately I've been flat out juggling a few things, but I always still aim to upload at least one or two videos for you guys a week. Um, and I've got some really awesome ones upcoming. I'm making a little trailer showcasing what's still in store um, and what's still to come. So this site we're looking at today um, is Blackwell Funerals and a church. Both have been demolished in favour for high density living. We got here just as a salvage process had started. The church had been converted into a showroom for the new development, as you will see. And I've got some real estate photos that depict the funeral parlour before it was vacated. All right, guys, so let's get into it and take a look. I hope you enjoy. What's going on, explorers? Okay, this entire site is going to be demolished. Now you've probably heard an intro already um, because when we uh, came across this place we didn't have all the information on it exactly. So uh, I'm with Michael, taking a bit of a walk through. Now there's a huge old building there that was formerly a church. And a back hall section there and this section was an old villa and over the years it's been adapted for businesses and uh, showrooms and whatever you heard in the intro so we'll take you through there is salvage started carpets are up and in this one most of the flooring is gone but an explore's an explore, and we'll start in the backyard. And uh, here's Michael taking a few photos. But this is just an old carport. And, whoops, all that's really left is the, the old workbench there. With the old number eight Dawn Vice. Still there. Yeah, I don't think it's in too good a condition. And there's not much in those boxes. Yeah, there has been a lot of development along this strip and Missed out, a, missed out on a few old buildings along here last year. So, we'll go through this part first. But yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big block. Show you around here there is oh there's a fig tree too I, should, I bumped into a fig tree just the other day too but this one is even bigger than the one that's in my backyard now I, I made reference to the one in my yard that's starting to pump out figs too pretty 
pretty cool. Now you can see the other side of the villa here and I will uh, get a shot of the side now and just show you from the side what this place was like. And that is an old outhouse in there but the door's locked. But love these old rusty tin roofs. So yeah, this back end has been adapted for, well, it's been upgraded. It's got handicapped toilets there, male and female toilet there. Now this was the hallway, well still is, but minus the flooring. And You'll see the alterations as we go, but look at how tight this little kitchen has become. Not really too much room in here. see some old bottles in the on the ground as we did walk through obviously I'm gonna look through the dirt see if we can see some old tins and bottles and there's an old vinegar an old anchor vinegar there an old whoops that's an old sauce bottle shampoo container cotties topping And a Sapelt's vinegar. That looks like it's an oldie. But yeah. Oh, hang on. That's not an outhouse, guys. That's the that's that door we were trying to. Oh, hang on. Someone just pulled into that uh, car park. I just saw a car pull in the driveway there. I think they'll just do any Yui guys. Yeah. All right. I think we're all right. Yeah, that uh, through that door there, guys, is um, a car park with the gate still open, which was obviously a part of this premises too. But as I was saying, this door was the one we were just checking. There. So my mistake, it's not an, there's no outhouse in here. It just leads into this room. Yeah, they were just looking for a park because they've, they've parked over there on the side of the street now. Always got to be a little bit wary, ready to react. 1 fireplace left although it's had a heater put into the fireplace curtains and curtain rods in there on the in the ground yeah again these were the original rooms of the villa Now I did set an old bottle down here, there it is. Now this one, it's kind of got like a corrugated neck section and it's, it says it's a small size Williams, Williams brewed drinks for men. And then it's got a description on the back. This bottle remains the property of Williams Beverages of Mitcham, South Australia. Artificially coloured preservative added but um, 
kind of looks like it's a 50s. I don't know. I'm going to look that one up. Yeah, that's where we came through, but there's some reproduction lead light here, guys, for the uh, side entrance. This area here has had, from what I can tell, definitely the ceilings replaced because they've got lights and air conditioning ducts and uh, that's a reproduction lead light too but it's definitely original part extends all the way up to this front wall but at some point in time it's just been opened up for the use of for what they were using it for So, yeah, far from its old original state. Check it out, guys. We walked over this earlier and I thought it was a pipe, but Michael actually just pointed out that, that this is a tree root. But look at it. We don't even know, have a, have a clue where it's coming from, but it's coming from the back of the house somewhere. So this tree root has found its way all the way through the foundations and it's still alive. And it's kept going all the way through there. So, we can see firsthand how tree roots can play havoc on foundations. I mean, that's, that's a decent size, but it's just, can you imagine if there was large ones? I mean, that's gonna knock not um, the slate out of the way and the foundations.
Here's another shot of that fig tree, guys, from the from the site here near the shed where we started. Like that is just so many figs coming through on that one too, like mine. But this one absolutely dwarfs my tree. And when I say my tree, it's the tree growing on the rental property that I rent. Alright, so we'll take a look through here now. Now this old church, um, as I just mentioned, had this front part added well, the cream, cream brick could have been anywhere from the late 50s through to the 70s. But for its last use, it was an architect's showroom business. And uh, I'll show you some information on that in a second when we get up to it. But we've got a huge painting, a mural there of Adelaide. Of the, the skyline of Adelaide and the hills. But there's been petitions and alterations through this old church, as you will see, but you can see the design, the original design of the church ceiling there. It's obviously been painted and the old cornicing still there. And we did notice there's a cornerstone sitting on the ground here as well. And it says, Crosby Memorial Hall. This stone was laid by Miss Anne M. Whitfield on the 25th of June, 1949. Now, if I've already found out the information and put it in, you know, but neither this extension area or the build of the original hall match up to 1949. So we're kind of wondering where that actually came from. But there's enough information on it to look it up. But yeah, look, the Harrington, that's what we saw out the side there as well. And there's information about architects there, whether I blur that out or not. I'm undecided, but yeah, this front part, the main hall of the, the church here, was all set up for the architect's kind of showroom for their business. It's all been pulled down like the lights near Michael there, the showroom lights are still kind of there, some of them. But it would have had a nice original old peaked front frontage that got altered. It's building materials and uh, interior options, schemes, schemes. Yeah, so we'll move towards the back part, which is, see that's got all frosted sliding doors. There was, as you'll see behind this petition or drywall, there's a 
it was a mini a mini stage for the church. Again, this is all a little office area. You can see the original window and the old vents. Still the old vents there. Now that's obviously not the original glasswork. Would have been beautiful lead light in those windows. Yeah. You can see here guys, this these steps led up to like a a stage that would have been a board there, obviously the old archway is still there. For the pastor or reverend, whatever you want to call them. And obviously they took the stage up. Placed or well, added those steps. But again, look how high the ceilings are. This is and that's partitioned off from memory. You could probably sneak through that gap, but I'll show you guys. So we've got the old doors in this section with the old hardware. Hopefully they save all that stuff. And again, partitioned off. The old ceiling is still the same though. I'll just show you this side. Now that's where we just were. And this it used to take you through to the hall, the front hall, but that's petitioned off. Disconnected all the power. Here's all the old bakelite switches for everything. I'll just show you in that little kitchenette, kitchen area. Looks like it's the old original kitchen section though. Yeah, look at those old cabinets. Uh, oh yeah, they've prevented that one from opening. And there is your kiosk style. Set up. Serve through the serving doors. Yeah, we'll get out there. Hmm. It's a bit of uh, well, it used to be graffiti. It's kind of been sprayed over. So is that one. Now this was just another side section. Oh yeah, no, this is the uh, this is the part I was filming just before we walked in. Is the mailbox? So 
No, it goes even further back. Oh, there's another room there. It's just the other side of that petition. Oh, there's an old bag. Well, it's kind of old. But this section, it's almost like this is where the Sunday school was or something. And again, the ceilings, the original lamps, see those lamps up there, they're like hanging lamps, but the ceiling has been lowered to the exact height where they were hanging. Yeah, you can actually, well, I can still see a gap through that gap. There's at least another eight foot to the ceiling. But again, all this was petitioned off and they've pulled up all the petitions. And we missed out on the five dollar toasties. And so Pretty much just up this end is the, I think it's the storage room and the toilet facilities here. Oh, actually, this originally was the, the men's bathroom. Oh no, sorry. There's the men's. And that goes out to the back of the building. A whole bunch of chairs here still. Oh yeah, they're the old ones, the old. Big old trestle table. Pink ladies room, powder room. And Lou, a couple of Lou's. This back section definitely is a later build than the, the front church section, but still very old. And there you go, you can see the old sandstone, huge windows. But, as I said, I'll try and find some history on this place, guys. And if I have, you've probably already heard it. So I'm going to close out and uh, just show you some more images from the front as I close out. We just drove past this randomly today, uh, checking some other ones, saw the fences up and here we are. So with that said, I hope you have enjoyed. Jump in the comments if you want to and we'll see you in the next location on the next video. Alright guys, cheers, bye.